Hello! Today I will show you the commands I used to find and display the health, speed, and jump height of a horse in the 113 release. I think this would be a nice feature for servers that would allow their players to breed and sell horses with confidence. I have pasted all of the commands I use in this video in the description below. You may have to click the show more button to see it. First, I add objectives to the scoreboard for the health, speed, and jump strength of a horse using the dummy type. These three commands only need to be run once and then all players on the server will be able to use the device. You can use the arrow keys to select a suggested command and press tab to autocomplete the text. If there are no horses within three blocks, the sign will just display zero. I will show you how the commands work individually first, and then how to arrange the command blocks to create this build. Using the data get entity command, we can see all of the NBT data a mob has. Use at e for entity followed by square brackets to narrow down the search. We set the mob type to Minecraft colon horse. Set the limit equal to 1 and the command should work. This will not return the closest horse, but we will address this soon. Now you can see the NBT data tree for a horse. Notice that the three stats we are concerned with are all under the attributes tag. To fill the text bar with a previous command, press Alt and the up arrow key. At the end of the command, add attributes to return that subset of data. Because there are no names for the next level, we can use numbers to specify the index we want. This count starts at zero, so by adding a zero in square brackets after attributes, we can select the health stat. The next stat is speed, which is third in the list, so use an index of two. The horse's speed will always be a decimal between 0 and 1. When we save it as a score, only the digits before the decimal will be remembered. Basically, the speed will always show 0. We solve this by using the scale parameter. After the path, type 100 to move the decimal over twice and return a two-digit number. If you want to be even more specific, you can use a scale of 1000 to return three digits. The last stat is jump height, with an index of 6. It is also a decimal, and needs to be scaled to preference. We only want to return the stats of a horse that is right next to the device. To limit the search range to 3 blocks, add distance equals 0 dot dot 3 after the limit. Now that we know how to return the health, speed, and jump height of a horse, we need to save that value to the scoreboard using the execute command. The first half of the command specifies which objective to store the data in, and the part after the word run is the command we used to get the horse's health. You can check the score for horse health to see that it has been updated and the trailing D has been removed. Next we will put the score on a sign. The command is similar to the 112 command to place a custom sign, but all of the quotes have to be escaped with backslashes. This and all the other commands are in the description so you don't need to type it all out. The score should now be posted on the sign. If you run the command from the same place again, it will fail, saying it cannot be replaced. Using the destroy option, it does replace the sign, but sends the broken one flying into the player's inventory. So, we can set the box containing the signs to air first and then run the set block. I believe you can do this with one line using the data merge command, but I didn't have much luck with it.
Now we are ready to put these commands into command blocks. First, fill the place you want your signs with air. The range I used will fill the three blocks to the north. Leave all the default settings on this first one. The next three command blocks will retrieve and store the horse's stats. These will need to be set to chain and always active to work. You can middle mouse the teal command block to add that variant to your inventory. The last three command blocks go directly under the signs to make the relative positioning simple. You could also put the commands into a function file and only have a single command block if you prefer. Build a platform on top of the command blocks and put a pressure plate over the center. For quick reference, I added the minimum, average, and maximum scores. I got this information from minecraft.gamepedia.com slash horse. I assume it is accurate, but something may have changed with 1.13. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching.